Some causes of hypopigmentation and their treatment. Hypopigmentation is a condition that causes some skin tones to be lighter than the surrounding skin color. Hypopigmentation is caused by a lack of the pigment melanin, the natural substance that gives skin color. Hypopigmentation can be caused by a variety of skin conditions. Most cases of hypopigmentation are not serious and can be treated. However, in people with dark skin, Hypopigmentation will appear more clearly and can trigger feelings of insecurity, especially if it occurs on exposed skin. Recognizing the causes of hypopigmentation. A common cause of hypopigmentation is a history of damage to the skin tissue, such as skin infections, abrasions, burns, and other trauma to the skin. However, it is also possible for genetic disorders to cause hypopigmentation. To find out more clearly what causes hypopigmentation and what its effects are, consider the following explanation. 1. Vitiligo. Hypopigmentation can be caused by vitiligo, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes damage to pigment-producing cells. As a result, fine white patches appear on the skin. This disorder can last a long time and cause enlarged white patches. In some people, these spots can appear all over the body. 2. Albinism. Albinism is a rare genetic disorder that causes an enzyme that helps produce melanin to be deficient. As a result, melanin production is limited. An albino, albinism sufferer, has less pigmentation in the skin, hair and eyes. This disorder is more common in white people. 3. Lichen sclerosis. Hypopigmentation can also be caused by lichen sclerosis, which is a skin disorder that often affects the genital and anal areas. Lichen sclerosis can happen to anyone, but postmenopausal women are more at risk of experiencing it. Lichen sclerosis not only causes white spots to appear on the affected skin area, but also makes the skin wrinkled, itchy and bleeds easily when scratched. 4. Pityriasis alba Although it is known that it is not classified as an infectious disease, until now the exact cause of pityriasis alba is not clearly known. This condition is thought to be a mild form of eczema or skin allergies. Hypopigmentation in pityriasis alba most often occurs on the face, but can also occur on the neck, chest, back and upper arms. The appearance of hypopigmentation is often associated with sun exposure. Initially, the hypopigmented patches are not immediately pale or white, but pink and scaly. 5. Infection. Complaints of hypopigmentation can also be caused by infectious processes, including pityriasis versicolor or often known as tinea versicolor and leprosy which is also known as leprosy. Panu is caused by a fungal infection that grows on the surface of the skin and causes hypopigmented patches, while leprosy is caused by an infection with the bacterium Mycobacterium leprae, which in its initial phase is characterized by numb, hypopigmented spots. 6. Post-inflammatory hypopigmentation. Scars that heal after inflammation can be hypopigmented. This can occur in wounds resulting from skin diseases or injuries, especially burns, such as exposure to exhaust, scalding, or irritation from exposure to chemicals. Treating hypopigmentation properly. Doctors can diagnose hypopigmentation based on the appearance of abnormalities in the skin, starting from the shape, size, location, and nature of the spots. The doctor may also recommend supporting examinations such as skin scraping tests and laser scans to help diagnose the cause of hypopigmentation. Here are some treatments that doctors may give. 
Administering Topical Medication The doctor may recommend topical medication for hypopigmentation. In patients with lichen sclerosis and pityriasis alba, for example, anti-inflammatory creams may be prescribed to moisturize and speed up the healing process. Meanwhile, in cases of hypopigmentation caused by phlegm, an antifungal cream will be prescribed to kill the fungus that lives on the skin so that the hypopigmentation can gradually return to normal. Laser Therapy In some cases, such as hypopigmentation caused by scars, laser therapy can help restore skin color. The reason is, laser therapy is able to stimulate the production of new skin cells to replace damaged skin cells. Chemical Peels Some cases of hypopigmentation can be treated with chemical peels. This treatment procedure is carried out by applying a chemical solution to the areas of the skin that are experiencing hypopigmentation. With this chemical solution, the skin layer will be peeled off and replaced with new, healthier skin cells. The series of hypopigmentation treatments above cannot be applied to all cases of hypopigmentation because the treatment given must be based on the cause. Treatment of leprosy must use antibiotics and be monitored for a long time. In cases of hypopigmentation caused by vitiligo, the doctor may recommend other treatments such as ultraviolet light therapy, high-strength corticosteroids, or skin grafts if the vitiligo is very large. Meanwhile, for hypopigmentation experienced by people with albinism, until now there has been no treatment to overcome it. However, people with albinism must use sunscreen at all times because they are more susceptible to skin damage and skin cancer from sun exposure. Hypopigmentation can be caused by a variety of skin conditions whose diagnosis requires careful examination. In addition, not all treatments can be done with over-the-counter drugs. Some conditions even require quite complicated therapy. If you have hypopigmented patches on the skin that are enlarged in size, interfere with appearance, or are accompanied by a number of other complaints, you should check your condition with a doctor, so that the right diagnosis can be found and with that, treatment can be adjusted according to the cause.